anger comes from ego because you say, how dare that guy say that? How dare he cross my path? You know, one time that I was driving, I've said this story over. There was once a guy, a non-Jewish person who chased me for blocks in road rage. And the whole time they were chasing my car and the whole time I was saying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, they chased me, cursing me out, yelling insults at me for blocks, blocks. They were chasing me. And I came home finally and I said to my father, what on earth? I mean, what's the guy's problem? Why would he chase me for blocks because of what I did? I did nothing. I literally did nothing. I walked out the door. They were holding the door. I said, thank you. But they didn't, I think they maybe didn't hear me say anything. I don't know exactly chasing me for blocks. So what? What could possess a person to chase me that? Why would you get so angry? And my father said, no, you don't understand. It's ego. If you're king of the world, then how dare that person do that to the king? You hear that? How dare that person do that to me? Ego is so much of the core behind why we get angry. And I think that's worth mentioning. That somebody says something to you, you're getting angry. Part of that anger is because how dare they say that? Chill out. You're not so special, okay? You're not a king, and you're not a queen, and you're not royalty. And it's okay if people talk to you in a way that you don't like, you know? Be a little more humble. You don't have to chase the guy down for four blocks because of what he did or said to you. So there's no question. Humility is key and core. Key and core. To being able to tolerate a situation and not blow up and not get angry.